Should we head in? Head on in. Cool. <laughs> Follow on. through the land which takes you all the way around through down to the bazaar or you could enter down into ostrich stampede just uh, right over here and there's also our f b truck uh, fun thing with this f b truck you'll notice this truck uh, looks like it's kind of tipped off the road here and everything in the land has a story behind why we've done that so just here this truck was actually the jumanji food supply company heading towards the bazaar to drop off some food supplies however the mandrills they are pretty notorious and they've actually attacked the uh, the food truck and ravaged it and opened it up so as you'll see from the other side uh, we've actually had it where it looks like it's all kind of ripped open by the uh, mandrill monkeys and there'll be things like pattern impressed flooring of their feet in the ground to help tell that story and of course what they've decided to do is they couldn't obviously get the truck and the food supply to the bazaar so they've just set up shop here in the Jumanji front so uh, that would be our f and uh, serving here. Another point is if you are wanting to go on the um, wanting to go on the rides maybe some of you um, I guess might be a bit smaller than 1.2 meters there's other activities they can do within the land so over here where it's current skip is There'll be a large Jumanji map where they can collect their kind of uh, map of Jumanji as an activity trail, a bit like what you might have seen in Shipwreck Coast, where they can go around and answer questions uh, as part of their kind of activity trail through Jumanji. Other things that you can do, we've got uh, play equipment through the land as well, uh, photo opportunity in the middle. So this is something what we call a trompe l'oeil effect, which is what you can see out here, World Jumanji. Uh, you can take photographs with it today. Um, the idea is there's a certain mark on the floor. You'll see a little camera if you stand on it and you put your phone maybe in landscape. Uh, it makes the image actually look like standing up when you stand behind it. So it's a really great um, selfie point as well for having the Jaguar sitting just behind you. Um, and of course, you've got the iconic totems from the film that we've included. And each one of those has a sound effect that goes alongside them as well. So this is our first of our small round rides, which is Ostrich Stampede, um, an SPF uh, jump around ride. Um, so this ride here is inspired by the June scene from the film, if you have seen the new films. Uh, the idea being that he's kind of swept up within the Ostrich Stampede. Um, as you'll see, the heads are currently covered up to protect them, but they will be, they look like the ostriches from the films, all bespokely made based on the uh, franchise. All of this has a very kind of June-like aesthetic. You've seen it, it looks like June buggies, it's kind of very rustic. So. Um, all this is, looks a bit like a junkyard theme when it's done with ostrich feathers everywhere and all these walls you will not see breeze block walls they will all be kind of carved um, to look like uh, rockwork and sandstone so all that gets um, thematically tied into it as well. Fun thing with this area as well that I know some of you guys probably might have already spotted um, as part of our kind of uh, recycling and sustainability piece we do like to reutilize certain uh, things uh, from other parks and attractions so we don't just put them in the junk and so the cabin at the front was something we used from Ripsaw uh, from Alton Towers originally um, that we've utilized as part of that uh, design piece. Another fun thing about uh, each of the rides and I'll start with this one is each ride will have synchronized music that goes alongside of it to help uh, really help uh, like amplify that guest experience. So each one has a bespoke score that's been worked with with Sony uh, for the ride, inspired by the films, as well as BGM tracks that will kind of fade in and out when the rides are all, all active for it as well. So this is what will be our bazaar area. Um, so essentially there's lots of units here that are recreating that bazaar uh, from that film. Um, and the idea is we've got different units. So this unit here is going to be themed to what is like a, uh, a garage, like a petrol station. This will be our Coke uh, refresh and refill uh, units. That's all thematically tied into the world uh, of Jumanji. And then as you go through, um, we've tried to make it feel like a really kind of closed in, real uh, kind of bizarre environment with all theming that really makes you feel like there's lots of shops. But what you can do here is various games are all tied in completely thematically uh, linked to the films. Um, so we have like a mosquito uh, bash uh, game and you can test your strength to see if you're as strong as Dr. Bravestone within the land as well. Um, so there's various games uh, within there. And then what will be around the corner in the right, that's where we have your collection for your photograph um, and retail experience. Um, of course, is after the ride, uh, Mandrill Mayhem. And as we walk down, you'll see in a minute, we've also then got our uh, third small flat ride, which is uh, Mamba Strike. Again, an SBF um, top dancer uh, ride, themed to the iconic scene of the Mamba in the film. And we're still working on the Mamba, so the Mamba, it, that's not the final colour or anything of the Mamba, it will be much more realistic looking uh, than the one we've got here. Um, for it. And again, synchronised music um, and content for that as well. So if you want to head down to the Mamba, we can all have a look and take some pictures down there. 
of like have it, it was all done to make it like really simple, like concrete carved uh, bits and that happens to all of the units over here as well as the